this season that we're filming of Black Lightning now is gonna be the last season of the show. Um, I didn't find that out until yesterday. I found out with everybody else. I didn't know. But what I did know and have known along with the rest of the cast since before we even started shooting this season is that I am leaving the show and was leaving the show. This was going to be my last season, regardless of if it went on or not. For different reasons that, to be honest, I don't want to go into. I just want y'all to trust me on it. And I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about the PC side of it. I'm not talking about that. These things are real. These people that are dying. In the way of the world now. It's real. And. And all this is an illusion. It's an illusion. This, this industry, for what it is, and everything that people look to and praise, I'm, I'm doing God's work now. And I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it plainly. I'm not leaving because I had a terrible time working at the CW. People that actually know me, not people that I've just spent a lot of time around filming, but people that know me. They know why I make the decisions that I make. But I am doing God's work now. And that is all I'm doing. I don't know why I was wasting time before. The reason why I started my production company is not to like yeah, start making moves. I have not played the game well when it comes to the standards of this industry. <laughs> God is the only reason why I am where I am right now. Because he leads me where he wants me to go and I follow him. And at times I resist him. And those are the times that I regret. Not now. Not right now. I know y'all are probably confused as to why I'm crying. There's other stuff surrounding you know, me leaving the show and the news and everything that we that we all received yesterday I'm trying to deal with it um but I'm not crying because because I regret leaving I'm really not I would have regretted saying because he's moving me and when he calls I'm gonna follow I don't care where he leads me I don't care if it's in the middle of Timbuktu somewhere, living off of a couple pennies and a dime for the rest of my life with my family doing missionary work. I don't care where it is. I would leave all of this behind. And I've just made it to this point in my life now. I've just made it here during this quarantine. It brought me to this decision. I want truth. And I'm going to live in that truth until I die. I don't care how anybody feels about it at this point. I've made my decision. But we need the spirit again in these projects. I don't know where it's gone. I can only pinpoint a few now. And the rest of them hurt me to watch. Because... There's what the flesh wants and there's what the spirit wants. And a lot of times the flesh, what it wants, we can see it. It's right in front of us. It's right in front of us. There, the truth is finite. It doesn't matter what I want to believe, man. We tend to focus on things that we can see. But the most important things in life are things you can't see. And beliefs don't change the truth. There, the truth is finite. It does. That's why we can't have peace. That, that's why we can't find it. 
That's why. Because we can't find peace in the flesh. We can't find it there. We can just find temporary distraction through sex, through drugs, through alcohol. I make them because I see so many comments on my videos, on my TikToks, on Twitter of kids coming to me talking about how depressed they are, how anxious they are, how they've reached an all time low, how they are thinking about ending their lives. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this truth. Also, and shalom to the elect. So, anyway, um, I want to go in this video. Um, she's a Disney star and she goes into Hollywood. I think her name is, uh, what is her name? Her name is something McLean, China and McLean. Okay. She's about, she's got to be in her twenties. Something like that. She's 24. Anyway, she's exposing the hardship of what she see going on in Hollyweird. Okay, so I want to touch on that because the Lord is shaking things up. And there's going to be people like her, Kanye West, and various others that are going to look crazy and out of their mind which could be but the trick bag that the most high had people in is a tough one right because uh, Psalms 47 and 2 it says the, the Lord most high is a terrible king over all the earth the most feared king over all the earth so the most high can bring you in these predicaments and um Put you in a form of hell and make you suffer and at the same time bring truth out now a big problem is that a lot of these celebrities are are paying attention to us they're watching videos and this is why they have a problem now some people believe she's Christian and she might have came up in a Christian background and some do, and um, that, you know, this person is still an Israelite. <clears throat> she may not know she's an Israelite, Kanye West as well. But the Most High said the Israelites would be a stubborn, <clears throat> okay, and rebellious people, stiff-necked. Now, you really think that since we were so stiff-necked to the Lord that we won't be stiff-necked to everyone else in other nations okay we also see that other people are set up inside it to come against Kanye and her and various other people with some of this stuff could be set up I, I'm not doubting that but it's also making uh, uh, everything aware the only thing is holding uh, these other people in position is the money contracts money the flesh that's what holds everybody in position when that money is gone right all these jakes that have signed their name is going to go too and as things get worse there's going to be more and more control loss right there's a lot of things i can't say in the video but I just want to get to that point. Mark 6 and 24. Okay. It says. It says. Uh, there's different translations on here. I'm gonna, uh, no man can serve two masters. But either he will hate the one. And love the other. Or else he would hold to the one. And despise to the other. You cannot serve Yahweh And mammon. Which goes to those riches. And that's where the problem lies. It's. 
one way or another, you're going to have to make a choice. And there's really only one way out in most cases. Right? So you have to make that choice. So once you say crossover and say, hey, I'm a Hebrew, right? You say something like that. Now is where your faith is tested. As she was going into faith, which that's what she was talking about, things you can see and things you can't see. So the question is, what are you willing to give up to serve the Lord? You have to give up the riches. And 99.9% .9 of these entertainers ain't willing to do that because that's all they know. There have been some that actually just left the industry and became cool school teachers and work in, you know, stores, you know, grocery stores or whatever else. Those would be your ones that you would take off your hat to and give much respect to. But mainly, the men, the prophets of the Lord, and the supporters of the truth who are out there on the highways and hedges bringing the truth. That those are the real superheroes, man. The one that's the ones that's not getting anything in this world, like Luke six and twenty four. The rich um, have received their consolation, I believe, somewhere around there. We're the ones that's out there putting our lives on the line, making the sacrifice, presenting our bodies as living sacrifices. All the things that Kanye say and she say. It's because they have reputation that everybody can see it. But for the most part, they see a lot of the one, and let me say this, a lot of the one Westers, which we come against on doctrine, but they are out there and they're the ones, we're the ones, I'm saying all of one West, we're the ones, and the spinoffs off one West, you don't have to exactly be in one West, the ones that's out there teaching we're the ones, right, who's putting it all down on the line and doing what the Heavenly Father said tell us to do. Now, there's going to be men, of, men and women of reputation who are going to support it. But here's my thing that I would tell all celebrities to do. Don't go out trying to make it known who, you know, that you're an Israelite unless you're willing to make the sacrifice. Again, I don't know if this woman is claiming that. She could be back in doing her thing that she was doing. Now, she was a guest star, or let me say, she was one of the stars of Black Lightning, the TV show. And after the first season, it just started going down. They put the, the daughter was more powerful than, the, than the, the father. Then they had that thing that goes on in Hollywood with the sister and somebody else. So you can see where it all goes, man. They'll make it start off good and have that normal feel to it. Then like the second season or third season, you start seeing everything switch to the to what they want it to be, right? It's uh, Matthew 7 and 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. You're going to have people that wake up to the truth. Uh, some to uh, 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 everlasting salvation and some to shame. You're going to have some people wake up to shame. They're going to wake up and they're going to be shamed about what they've done, which we are, but they're going to go into another avenue and, w and will not be delivered. But they're going to know who the enemy is. You know, that's something. This is why you leave it up to us because these celebrities you know, you're going to get mocked by that and you can't really say but so much unless losing your uh, your money or your mind, right? The Lord has ordained men to go out and bring all this information out. You want to be real helpful? You know, share our videos, <laughs> which really we only for the elect. You know, we only for the elect. We don't really need celebrities to share our videos, but... I'm just saying to the point, you don't need to do it. Now, again, this woman, I don't know. She just had some revelation and she understand the wickedness. She's a lot of us came up in a, in a Christian church. A lot of us have a zeal 
but not according to knowledge, as the book of Romans say. Jeremiah 16 and 4. It says, they, 6 and 14, they have healed the they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. This is what this young lady's what the young lady was explaining. That you can have the, the the lust of the world or the sex you can or the flesh. Let me just put it that way. Whether it's whatever you're into, video games, sex, whether it's food, whatever it is, she's quoting what Paul is talking about with the the uh, uh, lust of the flesh, right? Over the spirit. In fact, let me get a scripture: Romans seven and um. Let's go to 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. And this is a, a, a prime example of why we the, the laws can't save us and we are supposed to do it to the best of our ability and love the Lord with all our heart might and strength and soul that's the first commandment you know you got christians will say the law is done away with then you got some israelites say you, all you can do is keep the law you know in this corrupt flesh in a corrupt society let me say that that doesn't really allow you to be able to keep the law it says if then i do that which i would not i consent unto the law that is good now then it is no more Right, I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me, for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, for to will its presence, or pre will is present present with me, but how to perform that which I, which is good, I find not. Right, that's it, pretty much on it, you know. So. It's a struggle in the flesh. So you're going to have uh, this young lady, even us, you know, having to deal with the struggle, the struggles in the flesh, the hardships. And they are in a more of a, a different scenario. So to come out of that is a serious, serious spell. That's a really hard thing to do. Especially if that's all you know. You get caught up with the hype, you know. A lot of those people are very depressed. And the things that have to be done, the things they have to prove, the things that are done, you would only imagine if you was, uh, if you had a spy camera and knew what was going down. I mean, we know. We definitely know. Uh, Matthew 10 and 36 and a man's foes shall be they of his own household right so going into the different lifestyles and people's lives you got a lot of these rappers who go around in different places they gotta wear they gotta get in bulletproof armored vehicles they gotta wear bulletproof vests what kind of life is that you see because Satan has transformed himself to an angel of light the scripture says we're not ignorant of his devices or his designs. So we get caught up in that. The Lord could have had any, each and every last one of us brothers and some of you sisters caught up in that, man. Can you imagine the lifestyle? But everybody has to play the part the Lord set up. The Lord chose them to do that. You know, even with the athletes, we're not just talking about Holly weird. We're talking about the, the NFL, the NBA, and various other organizations. All this stuff that go on in there. A lot of people sleeping on that too. That's all entertainment. You know? Kanye West was talking a little bit on that, which a lot of us already knew, but he was re reiterating. A lot of this stuff is set up. <laughs> uh, you had that, uh, the head... Uh, NFL some years back, Roger Goodell, I believe, he said, we'll make 
Tom Brady a super superstar. We'll if we want him to win Super Bowls, he'll win Super Bowls. And I did a video on that because there was some guys talking about um, they was there to win the game, and the coach told them they're just throwing a towel. Is business. This is still up on YouTube. This is crazy. And you know what he said? You know what the owners and all of them said? They said, well, people love WWF, WWE, the wrestling. It's the same thing. So I believe some of it's true, but when it gets to certain points, they had their hand in that, boxing, uh, football, basketball. It's all, it's all the entertainment, all the distraction, man. And even this is all distractions. Anyway, that's all I have on that show.